Has anyone ever given you bad advice before? Well, you're not alone. But what made you realize it was bad advice in the first place? Was it just a gut feeling, a pang of doubt, or a light bulb moment where the better answer suddenly came to you? We all receive our fair share of wisdom from friends, family, and the occasional self-help book. But sometimes it's the road less traveled that leads to the most exciting destinations. So let's dive headfirst into some conventional wisdom that you're probably better off not taking to heart and why. Money can't buy happiness. We've all heard the saying, money can't buy happiness. But let's face it, the world's like a persistent salesperson, always trying to convince us otherwise. Sure, not everyone's dreaming of being a CEO or having a gold-plated yacht, and a lot of the time, building personal wealth can feel like a slow, frustrating uphill climb. But let's be real, financial insecurity and instability is so much more terrible for a person's mental health. Yes, money doesn't guarantee happiness, but having enough to cover the basics and enjoy a few luxuries certainly goes a long way in helping us find it faster and easier. In the end, it's all about striking that balance between financial comfort and our other priorities in life. Fake it till you make it. Faking it till you make it seems like good advice to build a person's confidence and go after what they want, right? But be careful not to buy too much into this idea, because it overlooks the value of time and effort in achieving success. All of the greats put in the work to consistently learn, practice, and fail at what they do before mastering it. True confidence isn't built on a shaky foundation of pretending, but rather on a dedication to learning, stumbling, and rising again. Follow your passion above all else. Passion is often hailed as the golden ticket to happiness and fulfillment in life. But what if I told you there's more to the story? Sure, having something you're passionate about is great, but blindly pursuing it without considering practicality and sustainability will no doubt leave you burnt out and eventually resenting the very thing you love. Take Amelia Clarke's advice for aspiring actors, for example. She says not to become an actor unless you're absolutely sure. Most of being an actor is being unemployed. And if there's anything else you can do, I mean, this is from the bottom of my heart, that would bring you joy, do that instead. I've had some of the best moments of my life doing it, but I've had some of the worst. And you've got to be there for the worst. And you've got to ride through the worst to get the best. So rather than following your passion, above all else, align your passion with your purpose. Balance it with pragmatism, and you'll find yourself on the road to more fulfilling endeavors. Success means doing it alone. In a world that glorifies self-made success stories, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing you have to go it alone. But here's the reality check. Behind every triumph, there's a team mentors, collaborators, and loved ones cheering you on. Thinking that success means doing it alone will make your journey so much harder and the destination much less sweeter when you reach it. So don't be afraid to lean on others and learn to ask for help when you need it. Surround yourself with people who inspire and uplift you. In the words of Helen Keller, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Never give up. Ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? It's like ordering a terrible meal, but finishing it because you've already paid. Well, life can be a bit like that too. When we're stuck in a bad situation, sometimes we don't just cut our losses and move on, but continue to cling stubbornly to a sinking ship. Sure, resilience is important, but so is knowing when to change course and quit while you're ahead. It's okay if your business fails or your relationships end. No matter how hard you try, you can't force things to work out. But the good news is, life is constantly moving forward and when one door closes, another always opens. So instead of never giving up, learn to pivot and adapt instead. Avoid failure at all costs. We've always been fed the idea that failure is the sworn enemy of success, right? Well, let us let you in on a little secret. Failure isn't the end of the world. In fact, plenty of the most successful people on the planet have failed more than a few times in their life. Before soaring to greatness, Walt Disney faced rejection and bankruptcy before turning his dreams into reality. 
Steve Jobs was once shown the door by the very company he founded. Even the iconic Beatles were initially rejected by a record label. Because failure isn't a full stop, it's a comma in the sentence of your autobiography. So embrace failure as a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. In the wise words of Michael Jordan, I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Remember, life is not a one-size-fits-all journey, and the advice that works for one person might not resonate with another. In a world brimming with well-meaning suggestions and conventional wisdom, it's important that you know how to think for yourself and question authority. After all, the most fulfilling paths in life are often the ones you forge yourself. So, dear viewers, got any life advice of your own you're glad you never followed? Tell us about it in the comments. And if you're interested in learning more, click here to watch our video on 5 life lessons to learn now or the hard way. Don't forget to let us know if you found this video valuable with a like, share and subscribe to continue supporting our work. Thanks for watching.